and it don't really matter. I don't want to be any better than I am now. I'm quite happy where I am. Don't want to try out anything else. I want to try out or just carry on what's working for me and billions of other people around the world. And that ain't working for you, man. It's failing. So Sunday today, people are going to be out abusing their bodies with Sunday lunch. Carrying on the tradition. Fueling their body and fooling their body. So, what are you going to be, man? You're going to be eating race fuel? Or you're going to be the race fool? And that goes to everyday life. To what you are actually doing Outside of, like, say, work or something, how good you want to be at something, I say you need to be the best you can be every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. What you're doing, otherwise, what's the point in doing it? Especially if you're racing, you need to be the best. You want that edge on your competition. So, how serious are you? Like, you see people, they go like they travel thousands of miles. <laughs> as my nose runs, to go to events, whether that's like a triathlon event or something, and they're still drinking like, you know, drinking beer and meat and, you know, oh, I've done my race now, so I'm just going to treat myself to like steak and eggs and hamburgers and stuff. No, <laughs> I don't need really need, to, or I, to be honest, I can't actually comment on that because I haven't actually done that, if you see what I mean, like, rate, but I mean, I know I'd be, like, fine, like, check out people like Rich Roll or something, they've done, like, Epic Five, that's, like, five Ironmans in a row, back to back, five days, there's people actually out there doing that, but, like, what I'm doing, I'm doing better than I was, and as long as I'm out here doing what I'm doing and setting an example, slowly people will, I should imagine, if they've got any common sense, try it. Because um, you don't know until you try something. It's as simple as that. Try and see where it can take you. Um, you don't know. You can be. Um, there's nothing. No problem in losing in life. At least, but at least try, isn't it? Um, so that's all I've got to say. It's uh, race fuel or race fool. Because a lot of people are man. They put so much effort in out there on the bike and then off the bike they just go goes to pot doesn't it all this constant nutritional uh, deadness I guess you need to fuel your body to do what you're gonna do and that's correct nutrition not this constant abuse of beer and kebabs or even just doesn't even have to be kebabs does it just the beer man the toxicity going on there um, Damn, if I was, like, really, really doing, like, racing and stuff and that, I'd be taking it to, like, 10 or 20 levels up to where I am now. I ain't really doing anything special. Just eating some good grub and going out and having fun on my bike. That's all I'm doing. I ain't racing or anything. So what I do on my bike is literally just, uh, I call it just airy ferrying around. Like, did a 200-kilometer ride, like, last Saturday. That ain't doing nothing special, as far as I'm concerned. Three, four, five hundred k's. Yeah, that's, that's sort of pretty, pretty getting now, I suppose. That's the way I look, man. Top of the mountain. Not like... I just don't get it, man. Like, oh, I was turning up at a race, you know. I put a bit of training in. But the nutritional side of it, it's, there's nothing there, is there? You know, what's the... Uh, where's all the carb load? That's the other thing, the carb loading, isn't it? Oh, I've got, got, got a race at the weekend. I'm going to do some carb loading. I mean, how do you know how much carbs or how much carb loading you're going to do? Do you ever play about with that in in the weeks, the months, or the years prior to all that, that you've ever done it. You ain't got a clue, have you? Carb loading. You should be doing carb loading all the time, man. Training or whatever. Oh, yeah, but I'll go out on a training ride and I'll stop and I'll have a, a cream cake and some sponge all washed down with, like, an espresso or something. No, nah, man, you're fooling. You're a race fool. You're a race fool. You need to be in race fuel. Otherwise, you're a race fool so that's all i'm saying man plant foods get some proper grub in you and then i'll take you serious because a lot of the chit chatter on facebook and stuff because that's where most of us are on and i do go on other forums and look around although i'm not actually perhaps logged on there as a user i, I read other many other forums whether that's weightlifting because i'm into all of it man all sorts of stuff like just nutritional stuff 
whether this like paleo or vegan or whatever. There's just so much info out, info out on there now. I just laugh at people, man. You're just all laughable, really. So, uh, and I don't mean that in a nasty way. Again, that's like versus what you want to hear and what you don't want to hear. When are you going to stop falling around and up in the game with your nutrition versus the training and that you're doing because a lot of people do go out and train hard on the bike and whether they're running or whatever and then they do pretty well at that but they could do even better you know rather than joking around you know oh, stuck in this kind of like no I'm not going to go and do that this guy's doing it like say me that I'm doing all right but it's not going to work for me because I'm racing I'm serious you know that's not going to work for me I need to be eating my yogurt and I need to be uh, eating meat five nights a week and then on the weekend you know I'm doing something special I'm more special than you more special you don't know what you're on about peddling raw you don't know what you're on about I'm on a special program I am because I'm, I'm racing I'm special you know I got my massage on a, on a Thursday and I do my foam roller on a Friday uh, personal trainer every other week because I can't afford can't afford it every week um, but really the personal trainer is probably talking fucking bullshit it's nothing you couldn't do yourself again all selling selling you their uh, their ideals and techniques and really really they don't know, know nothing do they all these personal trainers you know fuck all so uh yeah man that's all I wanted to say race fuel or race fool most of you out there race fools